Well, it got me thinking about uh, what you you were alluding to, but you couldn't uh, put your tongue on it. Uh, it's called a pH balance or the acidity or the alkaline levels of uh, a solution, not necessarily water. Well, and, water um, is now has a certain acidity under yeah. itself. You know. And so that got me thinking, okay, so how much, what's the pH level of animal cells? And uh, so clearly, so I've got uh, this, this paragraph here of, from a uh, website called Book Bio Numbers. What is the pH of a cell? And it, and it reads, hydrogen ions play a central role in the lives of cells. For example, ch changes in hydrogen ion concentration are intimately tied to the charge of yeah the charge of side chains in proteins this charge state in turn affects or affects the activity of enzymes as well as their folding and even localization and i guess localization meaning where they're supposed to be organized in their you know yeah. in their specific order where you know in specific say, uh, section and partition of the DNA strand. Yeah. Further, the famed ATP synthase that churn out the ATPs that power many cellular processes are driven by gradients in hydrogen ions across membranes. The abundance of these ions and as a result, the charge state of many compounds is encapsulated in the pH defined as you know, and I'm not even going to read the equation here. I don't know what pH equals a log, log 10 to the power of blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Anyways, so essentially the gen gener generic animal cell, not plant cell, but the generic animal cell essentially has to be a specific, specific range, not a specific amount, not a specific, you know, precise, you know, powers or like measurement but it has to be within a range in order for it to maintain its membrane and to not decay or 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 uh, dissolve the nucleus and the mit uh, mitochondria and whatever else you know it has to be a, you know within a certain range for all animal life to exist otherwise like i just said the, the membrane which would have been necessary from the very very beginning to protect everything on the inside from being decayed from being dissolved from being acidically destroyed and the membrane for uh, continuing on can't exist without information provided by provided by the uh, mitochondria is it or the uh, nucleus or whatever so you have a sim you know you have you can't have one it's a it's a um, irreducible complexity of the cell again but you you know but if the for original animal cell say in whatever you know like it was worms and trilobites and what have you if their cells were not perfectly tuned to a specific amount of acidity and they just had the same acidity as the ocean they probably wouldn't exist 